As a radiographer, you'll come into contact with loads of patients throughout the hospital setting. And in fact, more than 90% of patients that come into a hospital will meet a radiographer. It's just most of the time they don't know that that's what they've met. So what's the point of us? Why are we there? What are we trying to do? Well, pretty much everybody's treatment needs to be managed. We need to plan things. We need to know what is wrong. And that's what a radiographer, a diagnostic radiographer's job is. What is wrong with you? Have you got a broken bone? Have you got a disease process? Is there something that we need to find? It's a little bit of a detective work at times. You've got to find what's wrong with your patient because nobody can treat somebody until you find out what's wrong. So there are two routes uh, for radiography students. Students can go into diagnostic radiography, which is what I did, or you can go into therapeutic radiography. Um, diagnostic radiographers are all about diagnosing disease and therapeutic radiographies are all about treating disease. Well, most people just know them as the person in A&E who takes an x-ray when they've fallen over in the playground, but actually that is just scratching the surface. You can work in theatres, you can work within the teams in angiography, which is where you use dyes to have a look at people's blood vessels, um, but you can work elsewhere within uh, radiography. You can specialise into areas like CT, which is CAT scanning, the opportunity to take scans, and that will bring you into a world of uh, diagnosing cancers or dealing with patients in trauma. You can move into MRI, magnetic resonance imaging, which is looking at the opportunity to, to uh, see inside of people's bodies. And we use that for all sorts of things from sports injuries right through to cancer care. Um, and then there are some really, really clever ideas using radioisotopes where you can work in nuclear medicine um, or you can work in the newest technology, which is PET scanning, um, which is a combination of those sciences. So you've got MRI and a combination with nuclear medicine to, to deliver imaging. There are also ways of getting into diagnostic radiography. The most common is to take A-levels. Uh, if you have a single uh, science within your A-levels, then it's much easier, although there are routes if you don't have a science. Uh, but that certainly is the most common route. Uh, you can also take VTEX uh, or equivalent uh, qualifications in order to get yourself onto an undergraduate degree program. Uh, if you're a technically minded person who cares about patients, um, then you should become a diagnostic radiographer. And if you can cope under pressure and you can make decisions quickly, then you're definitely what we're looking for.